Here's this is your busy at maths tutorial for Monday the 25th of January. As you can see we have another monkey page here. This one is a little bit tougher because instead of having adding two numbers up to get a number we have three numbers that we add up. So we have one, two, three numbers and then a number at the end which of course means that we have a new color up here as well on the monkeys uh, counting on number line. So he jumps on one number, then another number, and then another number. So that's our one, two, three numbers. And then he winds up in a space. Okay, the first ones, as always with these, are pretty easy because you don't have to see, you don't have to tell me how many spaces he's counting on. You just have to tell me where he winds up. So, for example, two, one, two, plus three, one, two, three, plus two. 1, 2, 2, 3, and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is where he ends up. So 7 is your answer there. Okay, pretty simple. But when you're talking about the last one down here, for example, question L, okay, you have to tell me how many spaces he jumps the first time, how many spaces he jumps the second time, and how many spaces he jumps the third time. So Let's take a look at that one here. We have in question L, he begins at zero like he always does, and he jumps one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. Pretty easy, the first one, six spaces, because you just see six and you write down six. Now, for the second square here, so six plus what? He's, he's at six now, and he jumps on one, two spaces. So we write down two. Make sure you don't write down eight there because he ends up at eight. He hasn't jumped eight spaces. He was at six and he jumped one, two spaces. So we write down two. Then finally, he jumps on again, doesn't he? He goes on uh, with the red squares. So he's at eight here. And how many spaces does he jump forward? Just one space. So we have six, plus two, plus one, and he ends up at nine, okay? So if you want to look at that again, let's take a look over here, and I'll show you this here. So for example, uh, let's take a look at question A again, okay? So he jumps forward two spaces, then three spaces, then two spaces, and winds up at works seven okay pretty straightforward let's take a look then if you remember from last week the kangaroo this is a fun way of testing it out so he jumps how many spaces to begin with one two plus three one two three and then two more one two and he ends up at seven Okay, so going back over here, okay, we can put in our answers, seven, he ends up at eight here, and we can see then, he ends up at nine here. Okay, so let's take a look at this one here. Okay, this is where you have to try and figure out an answer for yourself. Okay, so he jumps forward one, two spaces here. So that's already done for us too. He jumps forward one, two spaces again. So we put down another two. Then when he's at four, how many more spaces does he jump forward? One, two, three, four four more spaces and then of course he winds up at number eight okay and we'll do one more example and then I'll let you guys go ahead and try it yourselves he jumps forward one two three four spaces and that's why four is here then when he's at four he jumps again and he jumps forward one two spaces and that's why there's a two here and then he winds up at six and where does he go next for his jump he jumps forward to seven. So will I write down seven in here? 
I don't think so. We'll go back up here and take another look. He's at six and he jumps forward one more space. He's at six and he jumps to seven. So that's just one more space. So the number one goes in here. And of course he winds up at seven. So guys, uh, it's a little bit trickier. Take your time with it. Please, please, please don't rush because it is a tough one. Um, and if you're having any trouble with it, please, please just ask and I will, uh, I'll give you a hand. Okay, so best of luck with that, guys, and I will talk to you again soon.